check this out. We're about to do a quick unboxing video of something I've been really waiting for. Um, my main bike is a 2020 Road Glide with a full King Tour Pack and all of that. So I do a lot of cross country riding from Philly to the West Coast, down to Florida, Midwest, whatever. That bike has been there. Uh, racked up a ton of miles in the first three years. So I had to get something to kind of like lay off of that one before it gets to 150,000 miles before you know it. So I'd been looking for uh, a nice Road King. So this bike popped up, um, you know, shout out to Boswell's in Nashville. Uh, I've got some friends down there and uh, they gave me a deal that I couldn't beat. So I flew down, picked the bike up, rode it back to Philly. And uh, again, just a, just immaculate, 2013 uh, Road King. I love this. I know the Road King purists are going to say, take that bat wing fairing off, but it was already on there. So I'm going to leave it on there because again, I want to use this for some long distance touring. And so um, maybe one day I won't need that. And I'll just, you know, whatever, but it's quick detached. So it'll come off in the summertime, but for the uh, fall and winter, it's going to stay on there. Anyway, as you can see, um, the bike did not come with anything on the back. Uh, at all. In fact, it had a different kind of uh, seat, which I did not like. Luckily, I kept this Corbin Hollywood Solo off the uh, road glide when I switched it to a different Corbin seat. And this has been sitting in the garage. So I love, love, love this seat. I've gone cross country on this seat. Uh, these are the ones that are like, I <laughs> feel like they're rock hard, but for whatever reason, man, it just works. Uh, the only other thing I changed initially was adding the uh, foot pegs on the front uh, highway pegs. I took the rear pegs off and use those for the front so that they would all match up and all of that, but really needed something for luggage. So I did a uh, long trip on this already. And luckily the guys at Boswell's hooked me up before I left with this. So this was nice. And uh, of course it worked well, strapped on a waterproof uh, duffel bag that I had and used it. But you know, I was really concerned that it was gonna mess up the paint and you know, on that black, road glide i really don't care i mean it is what it is but this paint um, is special uh don't want to mess it up if i can i want to um, prolong it so i was like you know i don't know maybe i need a bag that would fit on this that's a little bit better than one of those duffels that kind of sometimes can sag on the side so the other option that i thought about was this uh, when i posted the bike initially in the um, road king group on facebook Somebody hit me up and they were like, if you got a tour pack, send it to me. I'll repaint it. It was like 500 bucks. And they were going to custom match it to this, which the guy does all the time. And I thought that wasn't a bad idea because I like this. This was uh, off my old 2013 Road Glide. But I was like, nah, I ain't really interested in that either because, you know, this is kind of limited, as you all know. So I can't put a full face helmet in there when I want to swap off to a uh, half shell. Um, so again, limited. So I just kept looking and man, when you know it, Rick rack to the rescue. So, so I got a couple first thing we'll do is we're going to put this on, get this mounted back onto the bike. And, um, so this little, I don't know what they call it. I think they call it like the air wing or whatever, but this box is a game changer and I'm looking forward to hitting the road with it. So let me move a couple of things around and get a better view. All right, so this just came in today, thanks to UPS. And by the way, Rick Rack said seven to 10 days. Glad I did not pay for the extra, um, uh, the faster shipping, because I really wasn't in a hurry. But uh, this came within, I don't know, like three or four days, all, honestly. So I already uh, cut it open, but this is my first time looking in here. This is how it comes in the box. All right. So they said it comes mounted and everything ready to go. Looking forward to that part. No assembly required. But all the reviews on this were great. So this is the Rick Rack roller bag with the quick release detach system. That's supposed to mount right on this. And now, mind you, uh, you got to read all the uh, specs carefully because there are some aftermarket versions of these that are not HD. So I measured it before I ordered it. I think it's like 12 and a uh, quarter inch from outside to outside um, just to make sure. So 
Again, I'm hoping that this is right. But in any event, um, again, looking forward to this, just, it's supposed to just pop right on, secure down, and you're ready to roll. This thing has roller wheels on it, and I'll show you some of that in just a second. Let me grab a little something to cut the strap off. All right, so um, there are a number of reasons why I like this option. So first of all, um, you know, I mean, you can't get everything you want on one bike. Obviously, we know that. So there are times where love the King Tour Pack, you know, in the rare occasions that my wife wants to ride with me, you know, it's good for her. She can sit on there and just kind of feel comfortable. Um, as a person who does not ride a lot, it just makes her feel a lot better having that security back there. I like having the storage, you know, throw the full face in, a bunch of other stuff, and then the rack on the tour pack. And I can put a bag on the back seat. So, I mean, look, when I go cross country, um, like I said, I look like I'm probably like moving to another country, let alone just going cross country. So I like that. But when you get there, because now I've got the uh, Ciro tail light connected to it, it's not as easy taking that tour pack off. So I usually just leave it on because I don't want to take the seat off, then disconnect it and all of that. It's just too much of a headache. So you all get that. But there are times when I want the sleek look and I really want this look without anything on the back of it. Don't even want to put that little uh, seat pillion that came with it that I have for this seat because it just throws it off and I don't have rear pegs anyway. So why even put it on there? So now when I get to Daytona or wherever I'm going, just like snatch this bag off, snatch this off, throw it in the hotel room, man, I'm telling you that very clean look. And when it's time to roll, got all my stuff ready, throw everything back in here. And this is plenty big for my gear. This is expandable. So again, the big question is, will it fit on this? Let's just hope that what Harley gave me there in Nashville before I left is actually OEM and uh, not something else. So what you have to do is unscrew these, loosen them up a little bit. These are rubber mounted which is nice. It's supposed to just like drop right in here securely. Man, I'm telling you, it's even got like a, uh, wow, even got a handle. Let me tell you, I do a lot of, you know, traveling. This is like good to have. I wish there's a way to get rid of this part right here, but unfortunately can't do that really because, um, you know, it's mounted on there. So stuck on the airport rides. Uh, that's my wife in the background. Hey, say hello to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Yep. <laughs> She's getting ready to cook for Thanksgiving. All I have to do is fry the turkey. That's easy. I'll be done in like 30 or 40 minutes. Watch the game while I'm frying. So let's see what happens here. All right. So far, so good. <laughs> yes. Perfect fit. And I'll take a picture and post that into the uh, video so you can see the way it looks. Um, oh, yeah luggage ready to go now man that thing is beautiful i really can't tell you just man how happy i am seriously now all my stuff should be in here this is unboxing so i have not gone in here either take a few pictures so that you guys can see uh what i see when i'm opening this i don't have to move that gopro and so uh what i'm looking at are the instructions here no actually <laughs> a product catalog yeah of course because what do i need more rick rack stuff yeah, i'm good rick rack i think i'm straight for the day so let's see uh what comes in here there is a little box that's supposed to have something in it oh there we go they're keys so the box and keys if i'm not mistaken should be for a lock that's supposed to be in here somewhere but uh, if you can, I'm just opening up some of these side compartments so that you can see. I'll take some pictures. I love this mesh. Um, so, I mean, this is, I'm already envisioning different things I could do with this. Oh, perfect. So here is the uh, lock. I mean, obviously, probably just get a more expensive one that would actually work. But the cool thing about this is they said 
to just make it more secure, which I'm gonna do anyway. I mean, I like my saddlebags when I'm riding in my tour pack because it's a Harley and everything always flies off. So I'm just always concerned about that. But this is, oh my God, that's so easy. Too easy, folks. But that's the way it looks when it's locked on there. So very easy to lock that on. So let's see what it looks like with the rain cover. Now this is also like really dope. The rain cover is expandable because if you travel like me, you're going to be completely full in this bag at some point. So, um, all right, this is just for, this is nothing. This little, uh, I'll take it out so you can see it since this is an unboxing video. Just a little something in there for store, uh, keeping it, keeping the shape of it. But, so let's see how much room do we have here all right so obviously we want to just throw that on and we'll throw it on the other way so i'm assuming that this is also reflective on the back the part that says rick rack which is nice have that light up i've discovered any little bit will help you know so that's a nice clean look let me see, let me tighten it back down. Take a pic. And it feels like it won't go flying off on the freeway. At least I hope not. But now here's the ultimate test. Will it fit a full face helmet? Because again, you know, for me, with the full face taking half of this space, get gloves and other things and that kind of saves some space. The other half of this is probably more than enough for my clothes and whatever. Uh, there are also some straps that you can get for this on the outside, or you can put a bungee net on the outside. So if you have a heavy jacket, you can put that on top of it when you want to take that off. But between this and like one of these saddlebags, I usually put gear in one, tools, you know, a little extra fuel, depending on where I'm going, if I'm by myself or whatever. But honestly, and these are stretch bags. So these stretch bags give you just a little bit more room and it's really helpful because it's functional. I can get most of my clothes in one of these, but definitely in one of those and half of these. And if I get the entire thing, come on, man, I'm done. So let me get the full face. Let's see what happens. Open the top. So I think the first thing we want to try is see if it'll fit with the top open and not actually expand it. Man, you got to be kidding. Got room to spare. You can actually get two full face helmets in here. And of course, these lock together. So I've got a little luggage locked upstairs. Oh, it's right there. I got a little luggage lock that I'll throw on there. Here, so it's only literally on half of, uh, half of this bag. And mind you, this is like literally not even expanding it. So if we expand the bag, see how much more room we get. Yeah, I mean, not not a whole lot, in all honesty. Not a great deal. But you do get, it's, you know, I mean, when you're packing, every little bit helps. And so obviously, this bag fits on top of that as well. Uh, so one thing that you do have to consider and kind of factor in is carrying this bag, which, you know, man, these bags take up a lot of friggin' room. I mean... We kind of treat it like rain gear. So this and rain gear will probably go together in one of the saddlebags with the gear. So I hope you like it. Oh, one other thing I said, I was gonna measure it and I also wanna um, take it off for you as well. So you can see that too. Let's see how that works. All right, so we're talking about a bag that's uh, about 25 inches long. So that's, lo that's bigger, I'm pretty sure than, uh, let's see, carry on. What is domestic carry on dimensions? Maybe not. Let's see. Dimensions, domestic carry-on bags. According to NerdWallet, carry-on bags must weigh less than 35 pounds and must not exceed 10 inches deep, 16 inches wide, and 24 inches high. Bags <laughs> must fit in the overhead bins. So, I mean, there you go. So it's, it's like right there um, because it's like I said 25 that way, about 14 or so this way, and then deep. Uh, 
if it's not expanded, I'd say, let's take it this way where it's a little bit easier. So it's like 10 without being expanded. So it's almost like the perfect size for uh, domestic carry-on. You want to take it on the airplane. But again, the problem is man, all this stuff on the bottom. I mean, I don't know how you get that into the overhead. And you definitely don't want to trust this with people who work on the airplanes, putting it under the plane. Trust me, I used to work on the ramp at San Francisco back way back in the days in the 90s. And, um, you know, just given kind of the folk that I worked with, <laughs> I don't think I would trust a bag that has to depend on the bottom of this not being damaged to go underneath that plane. So this is obviously something that's just for the bike. Maybe in the car if you don't have another bag, but I would just reserve this just for the bike. So let's take this thing off real quick. Unlock it. And just see how easy it is to come off. All right. So again, just going to unscrew these, uh, undo the screws here. And they're not really screws, but just bolts that are kind of clamped on, boom. Literally, some of the guys in my club say all the time, too easy. Pop these off. Man, I got to tell you, when you get the real stuff, so easy going on and off. I only know this because I had the fake stuff first. And, I mean, you know, it's a lot cheaper for a reason. But, I mean, the way this just goes on, locks in, I don't have to like, you know, pull and tug and then drop it in and flip it. No, it's all good. So um, that's the quick walk around video or unboxing video, excuse me, of this. And um, I'll let you know, uh, I'll throw in the comments after I actually ride with it and use it um, on my next trip or whatever. But if you have any comments or questions or whatever, throw it in there. If you have suggestions, if you have the same bag and you found that, you know, you got some hacks or some other things that people should know, Man, please hook us up and drop it in there and let us know because um, we all we got. Deuces and happy Thanksgiving.